Hey, it's Annie Grace. How is everybody doing today? I am answering readers' questions. Today's question is, how do you address the fact that you don't drink or are on a break from drinking in an interview setting? I've been interviewing for a new job and the hiring manager asked me, so what's your favorite beer? And my response was, well, after the last several months, it's been NA beers as I'm taking a break from drinking. There was a pause on the other end of the phone and then I felt like the conversation turned a bit awkward. I'm hoping the guy is looking for a strong employee, not a drinking buddy. I'd love to hear Annie's thoughts on the best way to answer this question if it comes up in an interview setting, thanks. So. <laughs> I don't know that everybody's going to love my answer to this, but I think we need to have the very deep seated belief that if it isn't this one, it's going to be something better. And I think that takes a lot of commitment to ourselves. And what I mean by that is that if you lose a job or an opportunity because somebody wants a drinking buddy instead of an employee, something better is out there for you. And just know that, just like own that and know that and tell yourself that in the mirror and own it. Like that is true. Put that out and don't compromise. So if I was doing a job interview and somebody said, what's your favorite beer? I'd be like, I don't drink. And then if it was awkward, it would be awkward. <laughs> and if they asked a follow-up question, I'd answer it. Well, why not? Well, I just found out I'm better off without drinking. I don't know. I just stopped. Um, and that's it. I mean, that literally would be it. Because here's the thing, if that makes them that uncomfortable, of course, you can do whatever you want. This is just what I would do. But if it makes them that uncomfortable, how are you going to feel every single day? Like, that's not the quality of life you deserve. And I think that compromising yourself on anything is just like, let's just not do it anymore. Let's just say, hey, if it's not this, there's going to be something better. Hold that belief and, and know that because there will be something better and there will be an opportunity. And I know, I know that's really hard and I know it's, it's not a popular answer and it's probably gonna get a lot of frustration. Like, well, what if you're, you know, what if it's really hard to find a job? A lot of people are out of work right now. What if this, what if that? Um, but I think that not compromising yourself, if somebody doesn't hire you because they'd rather have a drinking buddy or because they uh, feel like it's awkward that you don't drink, I promise you most employers are gonna think that's awesome. Most employers are going to be like, oh, that's cool. Uh, you know, I would actually just say I don't, I don't drink over maybe I'm even taking a break if, if you really don't drink anymore because taking a break almost could imply that like, oh, well, why are you taking a break? What's up with that? Like, I don't drink. It's like, it's a full sentence. Nothing else needs to be said. Um, it happens to me literally all the time. I had uh, a while ago, I was on a vacation and I took my two boys snorkeling. And it was like this booze cruise boat sort of situation. And they ordered uh, like a, and of course we were snorkeling, but the, that's how it is, right? Everybody's serving drinks. All the other adults are drinking and they ordered drinks. Everybody's ordering drinks and my kids ordered whatever they ordered. And I ordered a, um, a diet Coke and he brought me it, whatever, it was fine. And then a little bit later, he brought me this blended drink and he's like, here, this is for you, mom. And I was like, oh, and he's like, it's just a little vodka. And I was like, handed it right back to him. I was like, I don't drink. And yeah, it was awkward. He was like, had made me this drink and he thought he was doing me this favor and giving me this treat. It's like, oh, oh. And then he went and made me a virgin one and brought it to me. No vodka, no, no vodka. Okay, thank you. And it's just one of those things that like, it's a full sentence. It doesn't need explanation. I think the more explanation we give it, the more it opens up questions, concerns. There's a lot of people who don't drink. I mean, it's not a majority, but there are a lot of people who just don't drink. And so not getting into it, having energy of confidence, having energy of like, no, I just don't drink. That's going to bring you, in my opinion, further in 99.9% .9 of the interviews and in the 0.001% that it isn't going to bring you further in, you probably didn't want that job anyway. So this is my tough love answer. I know it's a tough job market. I know this is hard, but I also know that prioritizing yourself and holding on to the belief, if it's not this, if they don't want me for this reason, there's something better for me. It's just owning yourself and prioritizing yourself. And you just really can't go wrong with that, that level of self-confidence. So I hope that makes sense. I hope, uh, wish you the best in your job search and um, have a great day.